Welcome back to Author Journey. My name is CJ Anaya, and today we're going to talk about book award contests or writing contests. And the reason why we're talking about that is because I had a question from a friend. She asked me if I thought it was beneficial to enter these, if it was really worth the time to fill out the forms and sometimes to pay a fee because there are free contests that you can enter, but there are also paid contests that you have to enter. And I, for one, think that it is worth it, depending on what you enter into, because you can receive money in prizes if you win, but you can also receive a lot of bonuses as far as connections you make, going to the ceremony if you win something, who you meet there, networking. So it just really depends on what they're offering the winners and also what they're charging to enter. So I want to talk about pretty much the one and only awards contest that I've ever entered, which is Reader's Favorite. So this is about as far as my expertise goes to when it comes to writing contests because this is the only one I've ever entered. But I highly recommend that you enter it because it was a lot of fun and they offer a lot of really amazing incentives. So let's just let's just kind of scroll through here. If you'll go to readersfavorite.com, you'll be able to find their page and you can go to authors on this little button right here. You can also do readers if you're interested in getting free books. You'll have to review them. But I, I think it's a fun way to get free books if you uh, have a budget and you don't have to want to have to spend money on books. So we've got authors right here. You can also get your book reviewed, but we'll talk about that later. So enter our book award contest. You click on that and you come through here. And I'm really, really excited that this question was asked because there are 28 days left to enter this particular contest. So if you are interested in being able to get your book in by the deadline uh, and, and be ready to go in September, then this will be really beneficial to you. Once the deadline is over, then it just the, it starts over. You can honestly enter it at any time, but for your book to be uh, judged before September, you need to get it in within 28 days. So chop, chop, folks. But this is really fun. So when I first found this, I was looking for, for reviews when I looked into Reader's Favorite because they have a really fun program where you can get reviews from their reviewers and you can get it for free or you can pay for it. But paying for it doesn't mean that you get five stars. It just basically makes it happen faster since there's such a huge waiting line. So you could get an express review where within two weeks you have your review, but you've got to pay a fee to get it that fast uh, to expedite it. I didn't do that. I just did it for free and had people evaluate my book and, and got five stars, which was really exciting because I got a little emblem that I was able to put on there, a little shiny star that made my book cover look cool and more marketable, which I was a fan of. So I recommend you do that. And then I started to look into everything else they had to offer, which was this writing contest. And I love Jim Carrey, <laughs> so I was really intrigued by this. He entered the contest for his children's book, How Roland Rolls. I had no idea that he'd written a children's book, but he won a gold medal in the children's category for it. So you have a chance to win one of $50,000 in free prizes just for entering. Uh, you have a chance to have your book made into a movie or TV show, a chance to be published by an award-winning traditional publisher, chance to be represented by a leading author, marketing, and PR firm, chance to be represented by a leading literary management company, additional award competition for illustrated books, more features including a book review, award ceremony, and publicity. Very cool stuff. So this is a very respected book awards contest. So the book awards... Oh, man, this is an international book awards, and I, I actually have, let me look, I did a whole blog post about this, so I need to go up here and find, okay, nearly 300 authors and guests attend the Reader's Favorite International Book Awards Ceremony in Miami each year from as far away as Pakistan, Australia, Brazil, Peru, Switzerland, Singapore, India, the UK, and more, and there really were tons of people there for that ceremony from all over the place. Guest speakers have been industry experts and celebrities, including Paul, Michael Glazer, uh, Starsky and Hutch, uh, Eric LaSalle, if I said that right, I'm not even going to try to read that name, <laughs> president of Wind Dancer Films. So he's the one who did Home Improvement, What Women Want. So this is, this is a really fun opportunity for you guys to get some exposure for your books. So I did enter it. I entered The Healer. 
and I entered um, Marry Your Billionaire. So Healer went into the young adult romance category and uh, Marry Your Billionaire was in general romance. And I was really surprised because when I entered them, I just didn't, I didn't really think about it. It was just something to do and then I forgot about it. And then I got uh, some emails that said I had gotten second place in the young adult romance category and that I had gotten second place in the general romance category. So I got second place for both book categories, which was, that was exciting. I think that as authors, we do not get a lot of validation sometimes. And so writing contests are kind of our way of not only feeling validated, but showing that validation to others, which can be a very nice marketing tool. So you can see that this, is on there, okay? That's my review uh, emblem right there because I did have a review before I sent the book in to be judged for the Book Awards contest. So this is the seal that I got for getting five stars from the website, from the reviewers on Reader's Favorite. And then they give you an actual Book Award winner emblem thing that you can download and actually put on your cover, just add it to the graphic and then upload it. And so you've got this nice validation for readers when they go to your book and they see that you are an award winner of something, it gives them more incentive to buy it. There's some social proof there that you're an actual legit writer, that other people have valued your work and found it something worth their time. So this is a great way to market your book, to get some validation. Receiving awards can never hurt. It always helps. So, and then uh, they have the award ceremony every year in Miami, Florida. This was the first time that I'd ever won anything. So we decided to splurge and we totally went. And uh, these are the pics that we took of me being there, getting awards for two different books. Very exciting. They had some conferences, some workshops there from people in the industry. We were able to meet people in the film industry and TV, in uh, different publishing companies, talk to some really cool people. There's my husband and my mom and my best friend there. So I um, had a really good time. And I think that it would be worth your time to look into entering this competition. It's a good experience. It's good to get that feedback. They'll let you know if there are problems with your book. They'll let you know why. Uh, maybe your book wasn't picked or it was, especially with the reviews that are given to you. So I would highly recommend that you take uh, take this up. You can get free reviews. I wouldn't recommend paying it unless you really want to expedite the process. It's completely up to you. And then there are forums on this website where you can talk to other people. So, so here are some people in the industry who have been awarded. So this is a guy from Starsky & Hutch. Jim Carrey, Bon Blossom, I'm not sure who that is, but that's probably because I don't watch a lot of reality TV. Pro wrestler, winner of NBC's Aimer Got Talent? I just embarrassed myself there because, oh, America's Got Talent. Yep, I sure did embarrass myself there because I didn't realize they were abbreviating that. Awesome. Blonde. Okay, Star Trek. So, Penguin, Random House, The Huffington Post, these are people who pay attention to who's being awarded things for their, their different categories. And there are a lot of different categories. I think there are like up to 150 categories. And you can enter your book into more than one category. So, I entered my book into YA Romance and Fantasy. So, so th that'll give you more opportunities to win which helps them as well because maybe they really like your book and they want to give you an award, but if it's not put into a different category and someone's even better in that particular category, then they need to give it to that person, obviously. So these are all the people who've come to talk about their fiction slash nonfiction books. It's really, really fun. I enjoyed being there. I enjoyed, uh, you know, rubbing elbows with people who knew stuff. And they'll tell you about the prizes that you can get based on what you have won, where your level of excellence resides in, all that good stuff. So the early bird deadline is, it's, it's $89. By May 1st, it's $99. After June 1st or final deadline till June 1st is $109. So basically, the earlier you get your stuff in, the cheaper it is. And then you just fill out this form. So I highly recommend you get it in here. I wanted to come down here and show you that first category is $99. Second category is $65. If you decide to pay 
for uh, the review to be expedited. Um, a lot of times as a bonus, they'll add that payment to just giving you an extra category. So if you decide to do like an express review and you want to add your book into this contest, you would probably get that second category for free, which is kind of a fun combo that you can look into. So that's what I did. And I really had a good time. It was a fun experience. It made me feel like I had arrived, <laughs> you know, like I, I felt like I was a decent writer and uh, that other people thought so too. It always feels good to be rewarded and awarded and to meet other people who are working towards the same goals that you're working towards. Now you can Google writing contests online to try to find what's available, any free ones that you can enter to win some cash prizes. Uh, there are also paid ones, obviously. I really like Readsy because they've got this little thing that will allow you to pick a genre. Uh, short story, let's do thriller. You can pick thriller and you can do the recently added. You can look for those that have prize money. You can look for those with entry fees. You can just say, eh, show all the contests or you can just say, you know, the ones from specific places. And then, so this is for the thriller one. The top prize is 100 bucks, and it'll talk about it and what you got to do, deadlines, things like that. So this is really nice, I think, to be able to just pop in your genre and then filter out your search to figure out what's available. So this is a very handy tool, and I really like Readsy. They always make things really helpful and easy for authors to navigate. You can also just Google it, find lots of things. I would recommend entering free stuff. Usually the prizes are better if you're entering uh, and you and there's an entrance fee, obviously, but you've got to figure out what your budget is on that. So just uh, look around, see what is there for you, but definitely check out Reader's Favorite because I think you guys would like the website. There's a forum there where authors can get together and discuss things that are working for them, not working for them, if they have questions. It's a nice little community. And then of course, it's a great way to get some exposure for your books, get some good reviews, hopefully get a fun little sticker that you can put on your book and, and upload that cover to Amazon so that you've got some social proof that other people have recognized you in the writing industry, that your work is good and worth some worth people's time basically to buy. So. As we all know, covers are a big part of why people buy books. If it's appealing to them, if it draws them in, then they're looking at the blurb, then they're you know checking out the samples. So you want that cover to really shine and stand out. And the best way to do that is to be able to have that social proof on there as well. And um, so that is all. If you if you guys have any any writing contests or book awards contests that you think are super important that others should know about, go ahead and list them in the comments below. If you have any other questions about writing contests, let me know and I'll try to find the answers to them. If you liked the video, then please click the like button and be sure to subscribe if you're new to the family. And we'll talk to you guys later. Bye-bye.